we've got another T-Rex in here. Yeah, here's another one. This is kind of almost gray colored with brown on the top and a light underbelly. And this T-Rex has a button near the head that you can press for the roar. All right, there we go, right next to the other T-Rex. Here we've got another Stegosaurus with different coloring. And this figure is a bit newer than the Jurassic Park one that we saw earlier. Plus, this Stegosaurus has some actions. You press down here, it swings the tail back and forth. That is very cool. Let's put it on the top shelf, right next to the Ragosaurus. Next up is a Carcharodontosaurus. I think I actually have two of them. This is a blue version with orange and brown detailing on the top. And then I've actually got a yellow one with orange and brown detailing on the top too. Let's put both of these on the shelf. Here we've got an Allosaurus, I believe. This dinosaur is gray with yellow detailing all over its body. It has an action button right on the back. To control the jaw. Next up, we've got a good old Ankylosaurus with a brown underbelly and a green and gray top. This Ankylosaurus also has an action button to sweep the tail. Let's put the Ankylosaurus right up there. Right over here, we've got a bright green Velociraptor. I believe this Velociraptor is also from the Hammond collection. As you can see, it is super adjusted. All over its body. It is really cool. Let's put it on the same shelf as the Baryonyx over here. Next up, we've got the Yang Chuanosaurus. This is a newer dinosaur from the Jurassic World Dominion series, I believe. This dinosaur is mostly green around its body with the brown detailing on the top and the bright orange right on its face. Let's go ahead and find a place for this on the shelf. Right over here, we've got another huge predator. This is the Tarbosaurus. Look at those huge spikes on its back and that bright red under its chin. This is a really cool looking predator. Let's put him on the higher shelf, right here. Nope, he barely fits in there. Right up top here, we've got a super bright dinosaur. This is the Nasutoceratops. This dinosaur has some green, blue, and orange all over its body. And look at the size of those horns too. That is pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and put this right next to the Jurassic Park Stegosaurus. Here is another awesome predator and one of my favorite. This is a Carnotaurus with the red and dark purple. On the top of its body, this dinosaur also has an action button on its back for the chomping. All right, let's find a place for this on the shelf. Let's put them next to these T-Rexes over here. Here's another predator. I believe that this one is a Ceratosaurus. It's got that bright red coloring and that white horn right on the top of its nose. The rest of its body is gray with a little bit of brown.
Let's find a place for this on the shelf. Right next to the Tarbosaurus. All right, we've got another Baryonyx in here. This one is not from the Hammond collection, so it's not quite as adjustable as the other Baryonyx that we opened up today. But it's still got an action button right on the top. Let's put this on the shelf right next to the Ceratosaurus. Here is a red, or it's like a clay red Triceratops with brown detailing on the top. This Triceratops has one action button right on the top that controls the head. Let's put this dinosaur right next to the Nasudoceratops. 